So I've only started using primers for the past year or two, so um, I haven't gone through too many of them, but these are the ones that I do reach for just that daily. Um, so for the eyes, since my um, lash line touches my lid, I do need to use an eye primer just because it is horrible looking if I don't because um, it transfer the liner transfer onto the lid and stuff just moves around um, and my lids are a little bit oily or moist or I don't know but that's the only part of my face that has some moisture to it the rest of my face is pretty dry so eye primers are so important for me um, and the ones I use are Luminae um, eye base for sensitive skin and the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer which I am dropping stuff everywhere I know horrible um, so this is a great base I also have it in greed and thin but this is the one I do pick up a lot more often just because it is it does blend in your skin better and does show your natural um, the the color of your shadow without like adding effects to it and the reason that I buy the shadow is for its own little um, kind of finish so this keeps the finish of the um, shadows true to what it is um, so I do use this a lot more often in the original more than the sin and the greed and this is a great everyday one because it is a lot cheaper <laughs> and I like how you just squeeze it out and yeah I'm a little bit of a germaphobe so I hate sticking stuff back in so maybe I should just go for a two base primer next time um just because of that but really helps with that transfer even though um you know liners they transfer anyways because of the um lash line touching the um Lid, which I don't like, but you know, gotta make the best of what you have, right? <laughs> and then, um, for face primers, um, really love this one. This is the Luminae Face Makeup Base, but I think it is discontinued. Um, I mix it with my foundation instead of putting it on before I put on my foundation just because I'm lazy and it makes the foundation spread so much easier um, I used to use a brush for everything but since I mix this with the um, foundation on my fingertips and then you spread it it's it's just a lot easier <laughs> and a lot faster so um, oh man I think I'm running out of this oh darn but um, I guess I'm going to have to go with the more expensive one, which is the Laura Geller Spackle. Which I don't think is that expensive. It's cheaper than um, Spashbox and stuff because you do get like two ounces of it. Um, but it does the same thing as the Luminae. And it has this little iridescent um, kind of, I don't know, iridescent in it. So when you squeeze it out and you look at it, you can kind of see that little multi color flex kind of but it's very fine so it does give my skin a little bit of an effect compared to this one and I really like it and it's not that expensive I don't think but I have it in the tiny one just because I like travel friendly things and miniature things um, and this is the Smashbox photo finish um, I like it for the how smooth it makes your face feel, um, but it is quite spendy, uh, and I usually use it in conjunction with my Revlon Color Stay. So I use this at, actually as its base instead of mixing it, because um, when I use this, I want the foundation to really, really last, and so. This is recommended if you are taking pictures or if you're going to wear your makeup for a long time. So 
if you do, then this is totally worth it, um, for me, anyways. Uh, but that is all on my primers that I use quite often. Um, and for lip primers, I don't really use, and eye primers, I actually just use, um, more mascara kind of thing. I use, um, the Ardell Lash and Brow Growth Accelerator. But it's already covered in my mascara part of the series. So, the next part is going to be on my foundation. 